there. How are you this fine morning? I am doing fantastic. I'm here still at the Petro truck stop. I'm fixing to leave here. So let's get down on the road and have ourselves an awesome day. We got 461 miles to go to our destination. Yeah. So let's get down on the road and uh, see what kind of day we will have. Well guys, we are coming into Cleveland, Ohio. Well, actually not directly into Cleveland, but we're sort of passing by Cleveland, Ohio anyways, you know. The sun is finally starting to come through. It's been fairly cloudy. Look at them four-wheelers. Just don't even move over for a broke down truck, you know. I don't know these four-wheelers. Sometimes they don't use their brain, you know. And that's the way it goes. Anyways, as I was saying, it's been pretty cloudy here yesterday and today, and now the sun looks like it's peeking through. So it looks like we'll have a to the left on I eighty. Nice sunny day after all, you know. And we will enjoy every minute of it. Yeah. We just got a reload off here. A few minutes ago on this road for 11 miles we're going to uh, Hazleton Pennsylvania yeah I might have to see if I can see uh, trucker uh, 316 see if he's uh, all healed up yet yeah we'll have to see about that but he injured himself there the other day so he said he was going to be off for a little while I hope that you do get well soon, you know. It's never good to be sick or be hurt somewhere, you know. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see. First we're gonna go to our delivery place and we'll see if we can deliver there tonight. We'll go from there. I think I'll only be picking up the load on Monday though. I'll probably take the reset tomorrow. And then that load goes to Toronto, Mississauga, Ontario. That's where we got our terminal. So that's in the Toronto area, you know. I always said Toronto because that way more of you guys know where that is, you know, that Mississauga. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey and see where it will take us. Here we are cruising along I-80 and we are getting closer towards Pennsylvania. Yeah. I always love going through mountainous terrain and it's gorgeous like this, you know. Up and down, a little bit of hills, you know. Always gorgeous to me. I'm not sure if there's actually a river down there or, or not, but we just have to wait and see. Yeah. Jay Riggs! La 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 la, let's go!
big snow. We're no longer on I-80. I just take a look at this big bridge up here that we got. We're crossing right now. I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it, but uh, we got a phone call there, so we'll be right back, guys. Well, guys, I have decided to make a pit stop anyways. I was gonna go drive straight through, but yeah, I figured, you know what, I'll just make a pit stop. I have to go use the restroom. And just decided, yeah. Yeah, let's go to go put her in here. Probably gonna go grab me a bite to eat and have my you mandatory half an hour off. Top with number 075. Yeah. I'm gonna go pull into this TA up here. That's usually where I go to. Go into this TA up here. I just gotta go around the circle up here and get into the parking spot up in there. It's actually pretty hot up here today. Well, this four wheeler really wants to get around this corner. <laughs> Right here is where we got the entrance for the TA. We got all kinds of restaurants in here. They even got a radio check in here. I might go in there. I'll go look around. Got a whole bunch of bikes, bikes in here. Motorcycles. Yeah. It's a fairly big truck stop in here. No idling. Diesel vehicles over five tons. No more than five minutes idling. Meal. That's why I have an APU unit. No need to idle my truck. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Whereabouts we can park. Looks like we could probably pull through there and park her in there. I think I might just do that. Let's just go ahead and do that. Then we'll go inside and grab ourselves a bite to eat. Proceed to the, the restroom. We've only got 131 miles to go to our uh, delivery place, so it's only one in the afternoon, so <laughs> that's central time, so well, lots of time yet. Just pull right through here, pull it right in there. Nice and easy. Yeah. That's right. Nice and easy, just like that. Well, that's it. Yeah. So we have to remember to uh, fill out our logbook. So we'll do that and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. Well guys, it is time for me to leave the truck stop. And guess what? Well, if we want to uh, get back onto the highway, we gotta pay a toll. Yeah, we gotta pay a toll. Uh, this, is, this is a toll highway, so we gotta pay a toll to get back onto the highway you know yeah there we go we got the green light that means we can go we're gonna stay on to the left yep because I want to go east so I gotta make sure that I don't run over cars either right trying to get into this lane Yeah, so we got about 130 miles to go and we'll be uh, at our delivery place. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Just gotta make this almost U-turn to get back onto the highway, but <laughs> we'll get back on the highway. No problemo. Lower down, it's a 25 mile an hour speed limit. Yeah. So 
So let's get back on the big road here and put the hammer down towards our delivery place. New Holland, Pennsylvania. That's where we're going. Yep. Here we are. Getting back on the I-70 or I-70 yeah, I or 76, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, 76. On this road for 86 miles. We are on I-76 eastbound right now. We went to a tunnel there earlier already, but I have shown you guys that one before, so I figured, well, I was kind of debating on whether or not I should show it again or not, but I know I've gotten some new subscribers, so they probably wouldn't... Maybe they have seen it on Josh's channel, but not on mine, probably. Anyways, here we go. I'll put the hammer down. Yeah. Well, guys, looks like we will be going through another tunnel up here in Pennsylvania on I-76. Figured I would show you this tunnel anyways. <laughs> I know you, most of you guys have seen it before, but I figured, well, might be interested for some of the new subscribers that we got. They might like to see this. Yeah, so this is on I-76 in Pennsylvania. We are just about through the tunnel. Yeah, looks like they might have to patch this tunnel here pretty soon because them tiles are on the side there, they're falling off, you know. But yeah, so we're actually going underneath the mountain right now. Could you imagine if that was to crash down, collapse, that be history. <laughs> Oh yeah, anyways, here we are coming out of the tunnel right about now, and you will be seeing light again at the end of the tunnel, there you go, <laughs> that's it, we are through that mountain. Here we go guys, we just turned on to Highway 23, and this will take us over to uh, New Holland. Pennsylvania to our delivery we got 10 miles to go and we'll be at our delivery place so looks like we got some gorgeous back road uh, sceneries up here except now we got the red light so we just have to wait a few minutes till we get through this light here we go guys the red light has disappeared now we can go yeah let's see what we can come up with over here it looks like there's even a little bit of a river up ahead of us so it must be some good sceneries up here it's at least nice and green yeah it kind of looks familiar coming down here right now it really does I know I've been down here one time but it's such a long time ago that it's kind of hard to remember you know yeah look at that building out to the left that looks kind of interesting yeah look at this isn't that gorgeous or what i like old town america i really do yeah look at this house here to the left man that is an old old building wow i wouldn't be surprised if that building was built in the early 1900s or maybe even 1800s but yeah a little bit of a cornfield here to the right just cruising along here like I say we only have like 10 miles to go and then we'll be at our delivery place but yeah this is where we get the little river doesn't look like you'll be able to see much of it but oh well anyways we'll continue on over there and we'll see what happens yep we are in Amish country that is for sure I've already seen two horse and buggies up here I was going to try and film the one there, but he took off into uh, the bike lane up here somewhere. But I just saw a lady there on the bike. Yeah, she's pedaling away there on the bike. And you can see their old Amish up here. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. They got to live somewhere, too. There's a horse up there. Yeah, even that there, that looks like an Amish, uh, Amish house up there. Got a couple of horses up there and stuff like that. But, uh, we should be here in a 
a mile and a half or so or two miles we should be up to where we uh, we're going to spend the night at yeah so let's keep the camera on and uh, hopefully we'll be able to capture another uh, reduced ahead Amish cart up here or something maybe we'll see another horse and buggy I have to just keep an eye on it almost looks like there's another guy coming on the bike here there's some kind of flashing light or something uh, I don't think that's an Amish guy no that doesn't look like an Amish guy so yeah but that was an old classic car there just going the other way so capture that <laughs> yeah but I'm sure by me sitting there all day tomorrow I'll probably see a few horsey and buggies go by you know so we'll see we'll see what happens now guys if you think this is not an Amish country think again have a look at this they got an actual horse and buggy station here for the store so that the Amish people can actually come in here and uh, in the shop look at that that's a nice buggy horse and buggy eh? that's pretty nice look at that I just don't really want him to see me because uh, according to jukebox we're actually not allowed to uh, show their faces so I don't really want to do that don't want to get myself in trouble right well guys today is over I'm just having a blast sitting here in the Amish community and looking at the horse and buggy <laughs> wagons up here you know there's like one two three four that I can see and just one just left and there's a bunch of them over there at the uh, pizza hut there eating pizza they're all coming into town to have a bite of eat at the pizza hut place up here and uh, yeah there's <laughs> I'm just having a blast sitting there watching them you know so we'll see what kind of interesting things we'll see here tomorrow but uh, Hey, I'm probably going to be taking a reset here tomorrow anyway, so I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow or what kind of video we'll have tomorrow, but uh, hey, we'll see what we come up with. You never know. There's always something interesting coming, you know. So, uh, but I figure I put the closure in for today because I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I'll probably go sit in the back there a little bit later and... Uh, Go watch me some Netflix movies or something like that, and then uh, yeah, just relax, sleeping tomorrow. So, anyways, we'll be back later tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. So have a good day, and we will be sure to see you on the next video. So thank you guys for watching. If you are new to my channel, we would love to have you on board and subscribe to us. And if you did already please give us a thumbs up on the video and share the video with your family and friends on your social media sites and be sure to stick around for the next one so have a good one